This is amazing. Now we have anthropic tools or function code. This is updated version. I might repeat things here, but just purely for beginners or for the first time viewers. So what is the use of tool calls or function calling in Anthropic? When we ask a question, what's the stock price of Apple? It's going to respond saying, I don't have real time data. So how can we fix this? That's when tool calling comes in. So again, when we ask a question, what's the stock price of Apple? Then the AI agent is going to use the tool call and it will ask us to run our internal tool which is capable of getting the current stock price, then we will send that data back to the large language model or to Anthropic Cloud to get a much accurate answer. Similarly, we can integrate our own system, such as a customer service. A customer service can ask what's the order details, then we can initiate the tool call, then we can integrate that with our internal CRM to get the order details and finally give the output accurate answer. So today we are going to see about get stock price agent customer service agent structure json output which means when we provide a url it will automatically give us the output in json format unstructured to structured then identifying the entities sentiment analysis and classifying everything in json format these are the use cases which we are going to see today let's get started hi everyone i'm really excited to show you about anthropic tools Anthropic tool uses now available in beta version for all customers in Anthropic Messages API, enabling Clo to interact with external tools. These external tools include any of your own tools or softwares. It could include your own billing system, own CRM, and you name it. This is in beta version. In this, we are going to see how to create a tool, how to define a tool, how to ask a question to Claude, which will trigger the tool calling then run the tool, return the tool output to get a final response. Imagine the user asking what's the stock price of Apple. The Anthropic Cloud is going to use the get stock price tool and finally we get the response. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. In this, we will also create a user interface like this. So when we ask a question, what's the stock price of Tesla? It's going to respond like this. So first step, pip install Anthropic Wi Finance Gradio Beautiful Soup 4 and then click enter. Next, export your Anthropic API key like this and then click enter. Next, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. So first use case, we are going to see how to create a get stock price agent. Import Anthropic, then Yahoo Finance as YF. Here we are defining the Anthropic client. So the five steps involves creating a tool, then tool definition, ask Cloud, run tool, and return tool results. So first step, creating a tool, get stock price tool. So this could be your own software. Here we are using Yahoo Finance to get the latest stock price. By passing in the ticker symbol, it will return the current stock price. Next tool definition. Now we need to tell the large language model or the Cloud what this tool is, what can it do, and what it will return. That's where we define this tool definition. We are telling it's a get stock price function. The input is ticker symbol that is required and it will get the current stock price. That's it. By using this, the large language model understands when to use this tool and how to use this tool. So that is step two done. Third, let's ask Claude the stock price of Apple. So this is where the function calling changes. We are going to use this function, choose the model name, maximum tokens, tools and messages. Here we are asking question, what is the stock price of Apple? Now we are going to print the response. At this situation, it will stop further processing because we need to run the tool that is get stock price. Only after that, it can continue. So now I'm going to print this output. So let's run this code and see. Python output pi and then click enter. Now you can see the stop reason is tool use. So the cloud is expecting that we should run the get stock price tool and get the latest stock price and return that back to cloud. So here is the initial response which we got. It contains information such as what tool to use. Here you can see get stock price tool to use. So what is the parameter? The ticker symbol is AAPL. Now we are going to parse this data, run the function or the tool and return the output. So in the code, that is the fourth step. So we are going to parse the tool data. So this function just runs the get stock price. So this is for making it easy. Now we are going to check if Cloud is using tool use. That means if the stop reason is tool use, then we are going to extract the name 
that is the function name and the input that is the parameter so here tool name is get stock price and the tool input is apple aapl so this is where we integrate our own tool that is the get stock price tool it can be your own or any tools then we get the output and send it back to the lost language model cloud this is how you send it back that is the fifth step so here we are sending the initial response to understand the context then here is the type tool tool id and the tool result that is the current stock price of apple that's it now else response equals initial response so if the tool call doesn't happen then we are printing out the original response now final response is equal to next and we are printing out the final response that's it so as a quick summary we created the tool we define what tool is about or what it can do next we ask cloud what stock price based on the response we are parsing the response and then running the tool and sending back the response back to the large language model now i'm going to run this code python app.py and then click enter you can see the tool used get stock price this is the input here is the result this is sent back to the large language model and we get the final response the current stock price of apple is dollar 169 that's it now we integrated our own tool with the updated anthropic function now let's go into the use case number 2 but before that i want to show you how to integrate this stock price with user interface i imported gradio as gr made slight modification to the code moved the client beta tools function inside another function all other code remains the same next i'm initiating gradio gr.interface passing the function name the one input is the user message one output is the response which we are going to get and i phase dot launch that's it now i'm going to run this code in your terminal python ui.py and then click enter now there's a url like this i'm going to open this and this is the user interface now i'm going to ask what is the stock price of apple summit and here is the response similarly what is the stock price of tesla click summit and it's processing the request the current stock price of tesla is dollar 164 this is amazing we just created a simple tool but more advanced in the way it handles the information similarly you can create your own tool any tool next we are going to see two more use cases customer service agent and structured json agent so here is the customer service agent in this we have two databases one is the list of customers and another one is order details now we need to integrate this using function calling similarly you might have your own database with customers with orders with invoice details but you want to integrate that with ai same as before we need to tell the large language model what these functions are that's when we have the function definition so we are telling the list of tools the first tool is get customer info and the second tool is get order details so get customer info we are providing the information of what that tool does and similarly get order details what that tool does and how to run the tool this is used by the large language model next same as before we are asking anthropic cloud for example what is my order details and then it's again going to use the tool we are going to parse the information such as what tool to use and what is the input that is the parameter then we are going to call the function and send the response back to the large language model here first we are going to ask can you tell me the email address for the customer c1 so if you see the database information this is the customer c1 john doe with the email address so now i'm going to run this code so that ai is able to fetch these details python customer service.py and then click enter now you can see the customer c1 it's using the tool call getting the customer details and this information sent back to the large language model and here is the final response the email address of the customer c1 is john at example.com that is correct now let's add three more questions one is what is the status of the order which means a customer is coming and asking what is the status of my order another customer is asking please cancel my order for me and the third example which we are going to do is we are going to combine two questions together can you tell me the email address for the customer and what is the status of the order so this is going to run the function in a sequential way now i'm going to run this code python customer service.py first question to find the email address and we got the email address second question what is the status of the order o2 it's going to the database fetching those details 
and then here is the final response. The order 2 contains one quantity of gadget B and it costs $49 and the status is processing. That is correct as you can see here gadget B 49 processing and the ID is 02. This is how the function calling is used or tool calling is used in customer service. Now let's see how to get a structured data from unstructured input such as the URL. So this is the URL which we are going to use. So we are going to extract information from this page. You can see the content is completely unstructured. So we are going to parse this data and get the JSON output. So as a first step, we are using beautiful soup to extract the content from this URL. Then we are providing the function definition. This is where we convert the unstructured data to structured data. This is more powerful because we are giving just the structure. We are saying the input schema type object properties i want the author name i want the list of topics covered the summary coherence persuasion and these information so the large language model understands that the user is expecting this output so the third step when we ask the large language model to use the print summary tool so print summary tool is nothing but the schema what we are expecting here we are calling claude or the large language model and finally we are printing out the response that's it. So literally instead of creating a new function, we are actually telling large language model, I need this output to be like this. And we are asking the large language model. Now I'm going to run this code, python structured output.py. And here is the response. You can see the JSON summary. It provides the author name, the topics covered, a quick summary, coherence, persuasion, and counterpoint. This is really powerful. Converting an unstructured to structure based on our provided schema. Next, we're going to see how we can extract entity we are providing a text here john works at google in new york he met sarah the ceo of acme last week in san francisco that is the text we are providing and we are going to extract the entities that means the name location etc same as before we are asking the large language model to use print entities tool so what is print entities tool that's where the function definition we are telling the large language model this is how I need the entities. So the entities items should contain name, type, context. And we're telling these are the required fields. That's it. Just by providing this input schema, the large language model is going to extract all the entities from this. Now I'm going to run this code. And here is the response. The entities are the name, John, type, person, context. Similarly, we have the organization name that is Google, the person named Sarah is there. The location, that is San Francisco, is there. This is how you extract entities. Next, let's see how we can do sentiment analysis. Same as before, only in the tool definition, we are telling the large language model, these are the required fields, positive score, negative score, and neutral score. And then we are telling the large language model, the positive sentiment score ranging from this number to this number, negative sentiment score, neutral sentiment score. And same as before, we are providing the customer feedback the product was okay but the customer service was terrible i probably won't buy from them again so this is the customer feedback we are going to do sentiment analysis here we are calling the model that's it now i'm going to run this code and here is the response the negative score is 0.7 neutral score is 0.2 positive score is 0.1 that is correct because i can see the customer feedback is more of a negative one. Now the final thing, that is the text classification. We are providing this information. The new quantum computing breakthrough could revolutionize the tech industry. And we need to classify this text. Here we are providing the categories required, that is the name and the score. And the property for the name and score is provided here. The classification score category ranging from zero to one. That's it. Same as before, we are adding that information and asking the large language model. Now I'm going to run this code and here is the response. Text classification, categories, name, politics, point one, sports, technology, entertainment, business. We can see that this, this quantum computing is more about technology. That's why in technology you can see it's point seven. As simple as that. Now you are able to integrate your own tool, your own CRM, your own function with large language model and able to perform entity extraction, text classification, sentiment analysis and finally convert the unstructured data to a structured data. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. 
So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.